Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up and configure FileZilla FTP server. If you don't have FileZilla server already installed, you can always search for it on Google. Like you see here. Download FileZilla server for Windows only. This is the uh, version 0.9.3.9. Download it to your desktop if you like. Here it is. Now there is no special configuration when installing the server. Just click on run. I agree. Next, next, next. Install. That's it. close here and that's it now click OK and now all you have to do is configure the user to do that you need to click on edit and then click on users you need to configure the remote users now click on add and type the username I'm, I'm gonna add myself and then click OK. Here I'm going to add a password and then I'm going to click on shared folders so I can look for the folder that I'm going to put on my FTP. Click on add. I have already created a folder in my desktop called FTP files but you can select any folder you want you don't have to create a new one like my pictures or music then click OK and now you need to configure your permissions read write delete and create if you want now obviously if you don't want him to create anything just don't select it click OK and you're done creating the server portion now we need the IP address of this computer that is hosting the FTP server. Now click on start, run, and here type CMD. Click OK. Now type IP config. Press enter. And here it is. This is the IP address of this computer which is running the FileZilla FTP server. Now keep that in mind to access the uh, FTP locally. We need that IP address. Now in the search bar type FTP colon forward slash forward slash the IP address of the local computer colon and the port number 21. FTP runs on port 21. Click enter and if you get this message here is because of the firewall. So go back to the uh, computer that is hosting the uh, FileZilla server and configure the firewall by clicking on start control panel Windows Firewall. When you when you open here you can either disable the firewall or create an exception. I rather create an exception. Click on add port and here you can give it a name and the port number keep in mind that is 21. FTP runs on port 21 and then click OK. OK again. And now we can go back, refresh, and it should give, uh, give us the uh, login, yeah, username and password. Here it is. Once you type the username and password, click on log on. 
and perfect here it is now I'm gonna right click and create a new folder to test it leave it like that and go back to the computer that is hosting the server and open the folder and here it is I have the new folder I created now remember to access externally I'm using Linksys router so to log into my router is this IP address that one that one once I log in go to applications and gaming in the application name select FTP and it will automatically configure the internal external and protocol all you need to do is just add the local IP address remember the one we looked before select enable and click on save settings click continue and now we can access our FTP externally by typing your external IP address if you don't if you don't have your external IP address you can always go to Google and type what is my IP and select the first link and it should come out big like this one here now go ahead and type the FTP colon forward slash forward slash the external IP address and click enter and you should be able to have access to your files and folder just like you see here thank you for watching this video if you have any questions please feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you